Hey everyone, so today I have an empties video. I haven't done one of these in quite some time um, because I've been trying to get through products. So I was like, I'm not going to do one monthly. I'm just going to do like a huge one um, because I only had like two or three products to kind of show. Um, there's products that I have right now that I'm just like trying to use up the bare minimum of it and then be like, okay, I'm done trying to futz with it and let's just get rid of it. Um, so let's just get right on into it. I have this Victoria's Secret bag full. I think this is a good size to fill for how long it's been. I don't know how long it's been since I filmed one of these. Um, so first of all, I have a conditioner. Just a conditioner. Um, a shampoo I'm not done with. I'm like this far in the shampoo and like gone with the conditioner. Likely story. Um, this is the Bedhead um, Style Shots Extreme Straight Conditioner. I really love this stuff. I do have a backup of this. Um, I'm not going to use it right away, but... Yeah, it's awesome. I love it. It's a really good smoothing shampoo. I really like it. Um, next, I have the Caress Passion Spell. Um, this is a body wash. And Tati from Glam Life Guru mentioned this. And it smells so yummy. It's not even funny. Like, oh, it's so good. It's got passion fruit and fiery orange rose, which is something different. But it's very strong. And it, like, lingers on you. Like, you can still smell it after, like, you get out of the shower. Um, and then we have a generic product from Target, the Up and Up brand, the Dual Treatment Moisturizer compared to the Clean and Clear Dual Action Moisturizer. Okay, so some brands I like the generic and some brands I hate the generic. This is a brand that I love the generic by Target. Um, they did an awesome job of it. The Clean and Clear, the Dual Action, I feel like is too thick. This is just perfect consistency. So yeah, I really like this stuff. I have not repurchased this because I'm using oils now instead of like using like these little lotion pumps yeah I do have other moisturizers that are like in that form but I'm trying to get away from those uh this is a product I personally hate by the up and up brand or generic brand or whatever um I've tried to look for a generic of the pink the pink grapefruit the I like the scrub the Neutrogena one um I love that product so much like it's not even funny um, it's my favorite, like, face wash. It's so light on the scrub, but it's still really nice. Um, and thick is one thing, because you only need, like, a pea size, less than a pea size to wash your face. This was, like, I needed a quarter to wash it, because it was so liquidy, and it wasn't even funny. And it was just horrible. Do not purchase this if you like the pink grapefruit by Neutrogena, the scrub. Yeah. No, no, no. Um, next I have another Redhead product. This is the Small Talk, and it is, like, dead. Like, I, like, pounded it out, tipped it upside down. I love this stuff. If you haven't heard me talk about this, where have you been? You need to watch some of my videos then. Come on. Love it, love it, love it. Get your hands on this. It's going up in price. I remember the first time I bought it was, like, $6. Now it's, like, expensive. Like, yeah crazy expensive. I don't even remember how much it is even anymore. Um, next thing I have is a pink um, body splash and there's still some in it, I know. But I don't even know how old this one is. I have so many pink body sprays that are in this like square. Like, I don't know. And like the nozzle came off and I can't find one that fits even though I have like 50 billion other like that. So yeah. Um, this is the Axe Anarchy for Her body wash. This stuff smells so good. Like, yum. Like, if only that worked. But it smells super good. I have not found this anywhere at all since, like, Christmas time. Um, so, yeah, really like the smell of the axe for her. Like, it smells really good. Like, I don't know. Like, like, like. I have the uh, Queen Helene Mint Tulip Mask. And this, I'm just going to toss. It's empty in my opinion because it's hard as a rock and I can't get anything out of it. I did repurchase a new one. I don't know where I put it though. Yeah. Um, and then I have some ear care. This is just uh, basically rubbing alcohol. I clean my earrings off like all the time so I'm trying to use up these from when I got multiple piercings. Like every time you get your ears pierced they give you like a bottle. Like Claire's gives you like this huge bottle at one time. Now I think they're down to this size. Um, where did I go to? pagoda's piercing or whatever it's called to get my ears pierced like the second and the third time so yeah <sighs> yeah yeah y'all yeah. more piercings Nina no not really um I have some secret deodorant it's just broken so why am I gonna waste time using it when I could just get a new deodorant kind of pointless and when you get deodorant is so cheap from like coupons and stockpiling things like that it's kind of pointless like yeah 
Um, next I have the Axe or Anarchy 2, which is the orange can. Not as good as the pink one, but I had to try it. So yeah. I have some shave gel by Skintment. Nothing special. whoop de doo um, the It's a Ten um, Blonde Repairing Mask. I still feel like there's some in here, but I can't get it out. It smells like lemons. Maybe I'll cut it open and put it in like a jar or something. I think I'm going to do that. But I really love this stuff. Um, will repurchase in the future for sure. Um, I have some non-acetone nail polish remover. Nothing special. Little Equate brand. Um, a pore strip. Um, some e.l.f. brow gel, which is FD. An old eyelash curler by e.l.f. These are a dollar, so I don't mind if I toss them. I bought a new one that's a dollar. But I don't think you can get, like, this anymore. So I don't know if I want to keep it, but it's getting really bad. Like, the spring in it is, like, gone. Um, I have my precious Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. Like, you can still get some out of there, but it's so hard. And this is, like, the uber old packaging, like... Yeah, that's embarrassing. I ordered off Hot Looks, so don't blame me for having old packaging. Um, I have a Benetint sample, which I used up because I love, and I have the full one, and that's now all over my hands. And the Rimmel BB Cream. Why does it look feel like it got liquidy? I don't know. Anyways, this stuff is awesome. Love it, love it, love it. Use it, like, on a daily basis now. Love it so much. Get it, try it, love it. You want a review of it? Leave comments below if you want a review of any of these things. Um... So yeah, or any requests. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a good day. Bye!